Hey there, everybody. Tom Swell with Basecamp Trading. It is Friday, December 14th, and we're going to take a look really quick here at crude oil and one of the trade setups from the trading room today. Ended up playing out pretty well, and that was a short breakdown in crude. Now, if you were in the trading room with me when I first started talking about crude oil, I had actually said we had a bullish bias in crude, but in order for it to trigger, it needed to get above 52.70. And the reason we had a bullish bias was because of strengthening momentum here, where we had higher lows on indicator line and histograms and we're starting to climb back up to the upside here on the way back up now one thing you want to pay attention to is you never want to let your bias take away from you taking a trade that the market is presenting so what i mean by that is just because we came in we said okay we have a bullish bias because it looks like it's strength momentum there was still well-defined compression Okay, and the well-defined compression was we had a double top up there at 52.70, and we had a double bottom down at 52.11. So the market was trading right over here. You don't want to miss the good breakdown to the downside because you're so convinced that it's going to go higher. Remember, it's okay if you have an opinion to change it if the market does not follow through the way that you were looking for it to move. Also, this is why what we'll do is we'll look at a setup, and we'll say, all right, in order for this setup to trigger... So in order for us to actually take action on this idea, it needs to go through a certain point. We always want to make sure the market proves to us that it's going to move our direction. So for example, we were looking at a bullish bias, but in order for it to trigger, it needed to break through that 5270 resistance to trigger an actual trade. Until then, we were doing nothing. And if you were in the trade room with me, I was saying we don't want to mess with it inside the compression, wait until it breaks out. Uh, ended up breaking to the downside, so you had short signals and followed through very nicely uh, from that 52 down to 51, so about $1,000, $1,100 contract. So my point here, though, is the underlying theme is make sure it's, o it's okay to have a bias and it's okay to have an opinion, but don't let that opinion cloud what the market is telling you, all right? And then also, once you have a setup, once you once you have that bias make sure that you make the market prove to you that's going to go your direction don't just say okay it's looking bullish so i'm just going to blindly buy it say okay it's looking bullish so i'm going to wait until it triggers the entry which was would be the break of the resistance and then i'll go along so it has to prove to me that it is going to go up that i am correct all right so that's it for today i'll see you all in the trading room bright and early on monday morning have a great weekend everyone don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos and until next time everybody happy trading